Hi, my name is Alex and I'm the Senior Product Manager for Noise Control at Price Industries. This video reviews generated noise, which is called many names including self-noise, regenerated noise, and aerodynamic sound. All these terms ultimately describe the same thing, sound power created by airflow turbulence. In this video, we're going to briefly describe what causes generated noise, how silencer performance relates to generated noise, and where silencer generated noise can be a concern. What causes generated noise? In duct systems, the airflow turbulence can occur at numerous elements, including dampers, fittings, tees, transitions, branch takeoffs, elbows, air devices, and silencers. While mechanical equipment is often the source focused on during acoustical discussions, noise generated by duct elements can drive the occupant noise levels, especially when elements are in close proximity to the receiver. It's important to consider generated noise, especially at higher duct air velocities and when low noise levels are required. Numerous publications outline recommended duct velocities and duct configurations to achieve specific noise levels. In the case for silencers, generated noise is simply the noise generated by air flowing through the silencer. How does generated noise relate to silencer performance? Silencer performance is typically described using insertion loss and pressure drop. Insertion loss is the decibel reduction in noise across the silencer and can be thought of as a negative value. The pressure drop is the silencer's differential static pressure and is measured a minimum five equivalent diameters upstream and 10 diameters downstream of the silencer. Typically, as the silencer's insertion loss increases, so too does the pressure drop and generated noise. A similar pattern is seen with air velocity. When air velocity through a silencer increases, the pressure drop and generated noise also increase. These patterns are seen when the air passage is being impeded by silencer baffles and additional airflow turbulence. While these described relationships can be influenced using different baffle geometries and free open areas, the fundamental relationships still apply. So when is silencer generated noise a concern? Typically, generated noise is only an issue when the duct elements are in close proximity to occupants. Silencers should be positioned as close to the noise source as possible, which typically eliminates their generated noise impact on receiver spaces. Let's look at two examples to better understand how silencer-generated noise contributes to overall noise levels. In the first example, a silencer is located close to an air handling unit. The air handling unit's sound power levels are reduced across each octave band based on silencer insertion loss performance. The resulting noise levels represent the exiting sound levels of the silencer. When the silencer's generated noise levels are logarithmically added to these exiting noise levels, there is no contribution to the overall sound levels because there is more than a 10 dB difference between the generated noise and the exiting noise levels. As a result of this 10 dB difference, the silencer's generated noise is not a concern. In the second example, the silencer is located far from the noise source and close to the receiver. As a result, the noise levels entering the silencer are lower than in the first example. After the silencer's insertion loss is applied at each octave band, exiting overall noise levels are once again logarithmically added to the silencer's generated noise, and in some cases there is an increase in noise because both levels are within 10 decibels of each other. What's the takeaway from these examples? Locate silencers as close to the noise source as possible in order to minimize any impact from a silencer's generated noise. Hopefully this has shed some light on generated noise. If you have additional questions on this and other noise control topics, please feel free to email us or visit us online.